Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about one of the best ways to make money with your filmmaking and that is real estate videography. All you need to get started as a real estate videographer is a camera and a gimbal. That's literally everything you need. But to give your videos that professional edge above the competition, you're also going to want to use plugin packs from FCPX Full Access that specifically make your videos look way more professional than everybody else's. So today we're going to be looking at Real Estate Pro. This is a plugin pack from FCPX Full Access. It's really easy to use and in a matter of seconds you can take your video from bland and boring and just normal shots to a video your client is going to love you for and pay you more and allow you to demand higher rates every time you go out and shoot. So let's get straight into this. So once you've purchased Real Estate Pro from FCPX Full Access and you've installed it, either as part of the Ultimate Bundle or just as a single plugin, you're going to want to come into Final Cut Pro click on these six squares in the top right hand corner and then come over here make sure the T is selected on the left hand side and you scroll down and you'll see Real Estate Pro in amongst your hundreds of plugins from FCPX Full Access. In here our plugin pack is split up into eight sections we have the contact section, descriptors, hero, information points, the price tag, rooms, title and your utilities. So today I'm going to be using some footage of this lovely accommodation that's located on a golf course and these clips are really great but they're missing little bits of information that tell us what room we're in, how much the property is, that kind of thing. So when you're doing real estate videography you want to start with some establishing shots that show exactly where this house is situated. So these aerial shots over the golf course where the villa is situated are going to be perfect for opening our film and then we can move into the driveway to start to give a feel for what the actual property is like. Now if we come up to our plugin pack we're going to go into our descriptor section and you can see that we have some really nice animated sequences that give an overall feel for what is inside the property and what the viewer can expect from looking at your video. So for this example, let's choose option 5, double click to drop it onto our timeline. Options 1 through 3, these are preset descriptors with the chosen icons for you, the ones that we feel are most appropriate for real estate videography, but option 5 is going to allow you to change every single feature that you want, choose your own icons and set everything how you like it. Let's see how that looks straight out of the box. Awesome, so that looks really professional straight away. But of course we're going to want to populate this with our own features of the house. So to change this plugin, all we do is we click on the purple bar, we come over the top right hand side and we make sure that these six sliders are selected and that's going to open up our inspector. And here you can see all the properties for the plugin. It's very exciting. So at the top here, if I wanted this to be slightly smaller, I can change the scale. I'm going to leave it at 100%. I think it's really nice, big. We can change our main box color. So if we had a color scheme that we were working to, we could change those features really easily. Again, I'm going to leave that how it is with the black because I think it works really well over this green. We can change our icon colors. If we had a certain color scheme we were working to, we'd simply change these colors and you see how this affects the color of our icons that we're using. Again, I think yellow really pops over the green. And again, all of these colors, we can change all of the colors of the plugin very easily. I'm going to come down to our property title and I'm going to give us a more appropriate name. I can change everything I want about that title, so I could change the font if I felt like I wanted to. I think Avenir is a really nice title. I'm going to go with the bold option here, or maybe even black, just to really make it pop. I can change our sizing and our tracking. If I come down to location here, I can change where it's situated, so it is Palm Springs. Now if I scroll down, we're going to see icon 1. If we click here, we're going to see that from this menu, we can choose any icon we like for whichever room we want to highlight. I think square footage is really important as the number one thing your prospective homeowners want to know about their property. So let's say this is 2000 square feet. We could even change the icon text to square feet if you'd rather. We scroll down to icon 2 and the same again. We choose the room that we want to highlight. I'm going to say the kitchen. We'll say this one is a crazy house with two kitchens. So I'm going to change the icon number here to 2. I come down to icon 2 text and we change this to kitchens. We scroll down to icon 3 and we're just going to repeat these steps for the next two icons. If we come right down to the bottom we have our main description text and in here you can write whatever you like that best describes your property. 
My one tip here would be to keep it short and sweet, so people aren't going to spend too much time reading this sort of slide, so use really nice descriptive words and make it punchy and short. So let's watch that back and see how it looks. Now I might just want that to linger a little longer on the driveway shot. All I'm going to do is come down to the purple slider here and pull it to the right hand side. And that's just going to make this linger longer when I want it to over the driveway shot. Okay great, let's move on to the next room and as you can see here from our footage we're now in the kitchen. We're going to want something here that describes the room we're in and lets people know that this is certainly like the main kitchen. So all I do is I come back up to my plugin pack, I'm going to come down to rooms and I'm going to select number two. I'm going to double click, it drops it onto our timeline and I'm going to place it where I want. Let's see how that looks out of the box. Okay, cool. So we can see that this is not the Olympic swimming pool. So all we're going to do to change this is we're going to click on the purple tab. We're going to come up to the right hand side and in our T section here, we have all of our published parameters and this is really easy to change. So I'm just going to change our main text to main kitchen. Then I'm going to change my bezel color because perhaps I don't like the red so much. Yellow that's popping. And our icon color, I might want to go for the same yellow. So I'm just going to click my eyedropper here and I'm going to come over to the yellow I just picked and I'm going to click it on there and we get exactly the same yellow. Then my last step, all I have to do is come up to the room selector icon here, click on the drop down menu and I'm going to pick the room that I want to do. For this one we're in the kitchen, so I'm going to simply click the kitchen and we get our kitchen icon. I might want to change the template scale very slightly just to bring it into frame or maybe change the position potentially. Let's have a look how that looks now. So straight away you can see how your clients are going to absolutely love this pack. This adds so much value to your videos. Let's come to the next room and you can see we have this lovely plush bedroom. So same again, I'm going to come into our plugin pack here and I'm going to click on number one for room. So we can take a look at the other design that we offer in this pack. Drag this over to where we want it. And let's see how that looks straight out of the box. Okay, so once again, you can see this is not the swimming pool. So we're gonna open up our plugin, come to the right hand side. I'm gonna come up to room text and I'm gonna change this to master suite. For professional videos, I would always recommend maintaining a color palette. So choosing the same icon colors. For this one, I'm just gonna be really creative and I'm gonna make this icon pink. I think that's nice. <laughs> Let's take a look how that looks. Great, so we're really starting to add some value here for our client. People can get an idea for what rooms we're looking at and these virtual tours are really descriptive now instead of just being nondescript rooms. If we come back up into our plugin pack, you can see under the information points, we have a couple of option options here. Option one and two, these are a long list of animated bullet points. And option three is a nice shorter list, something you might just use to describe a certain area of the house or frequently asked questions about the property. So I'm going to have a go with this number three. I'm going to move my playhead over to where I'd like it to land and I'm going to double click on number three. So in order to change this plugin, all I'm going to do is click on the purple box, come up to the right hand side and in our information points, we've got our nice bullet points here and I'm just going to change these quickly, just populate it to give you an idea of what we might use this for. That's great, let's take a look how that looks. That looks super professional, I'm really happy with how that's come out. So if we come back up into our plugin pack, we also have the title section. And these are really useful as transitions or to intro a new section. And so I think a really effective way of using these is just to drag them over two clips, like so. And then if we just play that out, I'll show you exactly what this looks like.
And so these are really, really important slides for buyers of a new property. They want to know a bit about the area, they want to know how close things are, and this really sets the scene. So I'm gonna open up this plugin and just show you the parameters we can change in this plugin. So I click the purple box, I come up to the right hand side to our published parameters and we can choose whether we want it to slide in and slide out. So we could just have a hard cut if we felt like it. And we can also choose whether we want the template to grow or if we just want it to say static. I personally really like the growing. I think it adds a really dynamic effect to the whole plugin. We can choose whether we want to show the background or not. So we could have it totally transparent if we liked. I think it's really nice this block color. And we can of course choose our color. So we've been using this nice kind of orangey yellow for the whole thing, so I'm happy to do that. We can of course change the color scheme of the dots and our destinations, so we could change our dots to maybe you want them to be black, and our locations, we could also make those black if we felt. So we have our time to destination, so let's figure out where we're going from and to. So let's say we're going from Palm Springs, so we come down to location one, Palm Springs, and then let's go to location two, to, and then let's change that to local grocers, and let's say that's a five minute drive. Let's see how that looks. Awesome, so that's really gonna give our new buyers a really good idea of what we're trying to tell them. Really important information such as local amenities and how long it takes to get somewhere. Of course, you wouldn't be purchasing a house unless you were spending a lot of money. And for that, we have our price tag sections. So this is a choice of three different styles in which we can show off the price of this new property. I personally like option two, which is big and bold. And so I'm gonna double click that. But of course, your property might not be a million dollars. So let's see how we can change this. Again, we click on the purple, we come up to the top right hand side. We can change our template scale. So we can make this any size we want. Maybe a little smaller like that works. We can change our badge background color. For this kind of thing, I think if you're not sticking to a color scheme, it can work really nicely to use the color picker here and pick out a color from the scene. Just experiment with this until you find something that you like. Yeah, I think that off-white looks nice. In this plugin, this also has a drop zone where you could add your own custom logo. So to add this custom logo, all you need to do is click on the drop zone area here on the right hand side. It's going to open up these two boxes and then in your media browser on the left hand side, you're going to find your custom logo. And for this, I would highly recommend having a PNG so that it's transparent. So you see how we have no background, it just fits perfectly onto our image. We can of course change the scale of this, we can have it as large or as small as we like. I recommend keeping it within the circle for best effects. And we can of course change where we want to have that positioned. But I think keeping it central is always key. If we scroll down to the price box, we can change the price here. So I think this looks like a pretty nice property. So I'm gonna make this three, $3,500,000. And I might change the color here as well. And if you're so inclined, you're also welcome to change the asking price tag. So we can just say offers over. So let's see how that looks. Great, that works amazing, it looks so professional. Our clients are gonna love us. This looks amazing, this video. It's taken us minutes, if not seconds, to add these little features that just add so much value to a real estate video. If you think about a video with these kind of features compared to a video that doesn't have these kind of features, this video is gonna sell properties while another video isn't. And for that, your client is gonna pay you higher rates and keep working with you time and time again. Now the final thing your client's going to ask you to do is to big them up and make sure they get famous out of your videos. And of course, we have a plugin for that too. So for this, I would recommend picking something with a lot of open space so it doesn't draw too much attention away from your client. So if we come up to our plugin pack, you can see our top section here is contact. So we have two options here. We have option one, which is this lovely animation. And we have option two which is more of a kind of lower third effect. I'm gonna use option one here, so I'm just gonna double click. It's gonna drop it right onto our timeline and I'm gonna drag it over where I want it to go. So let's make this specific for our realtor that we're working for. So we click on the purple box, we come up to the right hand side and you can see our published parameters once again. Again, we can change our template scale, really simple. We just drag the slider up or down, maybe slightly smaller looks good. 
we can change our box one color which is our top box so let's choose a color that we've been working with throughout the video let's go for this bright yellow with the slight orange tinge and we can change our box two color I think that looks good you can see here we have our first drop zone and so this is going to change our profile picture of our realtor so if I click on the drop zone on the right hand side I come over to my media browser and I can find the profile picture of our realtor I click on the image and I come over to apply clip you can see there it's applied it straight away into the correct place but I might just want to move that so her head isn't chopped off slightly so if I come down to pan I'm going to change the Y slightly here that looks fantastic our next option here is circle accent color so I can change the color of the circle that surrounds her we could choose anything we want I might just go for a black in this instance and I can change the width of that color of that circle too. Coming down to our next drop zone here, we have another drop zone for our logo. So simple again, we click on the drop zone box, we come over to our media browser and we click on our logo and click apply. Once again, you can change the position and the scale of that logo. So I might just make it slightly larger. Our next box is we have the name of our realtor. I think it looks good in capitals here. So I'm just going to call her Sarah Jones. We can change the color of that if we wanted to. I think it looks great in white. And we've, we can of course change everything we want about that from our font to our size, alignment, line spacing, tracking, and position. Our next text box is the job title. I'm gonna leave this as realtor. And then down here at the bottom, we have our phone number and our email address. So we can change the color of this icon. So I might change this to black to match that circle. And then of course we can populate this with our own information. Sarah Jones at example.com. And let's see how that looks. Awesome. So hopefully your clients have a slightly nicer color scheme than the bright yellow with the black, but I'm sure you guys are gonna make this look absolutely amazing. And this pack is truly going to bring value back into your career. If you're able to sell houses for your client, it's something they're going to reward you for and they're gonna work with you time and time again. There's plenty to explore in this plugin pack, so pick it up now from FCPX Full Access. You can purchase it as a single plugin, or I would highly recommend checking out our ultimate bundle, which is every single Final Cut plugin on our store for just $99. No exaggeration, no scam, it's just every single plugin on our store for $99. It's the best deal on the internet, and we highly recommend you check it out. But that's all for now. Stay creative, and we'll see you in the next video.